Welcome to Her Remarkable History. Remember to support, please subscribe. The real cause of death of Jane Boleyn. Now the surname Boleyn is one that has gone down in history with great importance and sadness. We associate the Boleyns with the plight of Anne Boleyn, Henry VIII's second wife, who helped to cause the English Reformation and also met her end inside the walls of the Tower of London. The Boleyns, as a family, were seen by some as great manipulators, especially the men who were desperate for power and influence across England. However, there was one lady who married into the family, and equally too, she was rather thirsty for power. Jane Boleyn has gone down in history as a rather strange figure, and much about her is wrapped in mystery. However, like her sister-in-law Anne, she was also executed at the Tower of London. Today we look at the real cause of death of Jane Boleyn, and remember, to support, please subscribe. Jane Boleyn, in the mid-1520s, married George Boleyn, the brother of Anne. Their marriage at this point was rather normal, as Anne was held in high regard at court, however, was not linked to the king. As a wedding present, Jane and George were given a mansion from Henry VIII called Grimston Manor, and she became known as Vice Countess Rochford. Jane was referred to at court as Lady Rochford. As the Boleyn influence grew, as did the family's riches and property, and when Anne married Henry VIII, Jane became the sister-in-law to the Queen, and also the aunt to the future Elizabeth I. Now when the King's relationship with Anne Boleyn was good, George and Jane's was also too. However, when Anne fell from grace very dramatically, it would also end very tragically for Jane's husband George. Anne Boleyn had frustrated the King, and he sought to look for a new marriage with Jane Seymour, who he had become smitten with. Because of the King's need to get rid of Anne, and a web of lies and deceit that was spun by Cromwell, there was an attempt to rid the King of his second wife. Treason, adultery and incest was levelled at Anne, and it was George Boleyn who was accused of the final crime with his own sister. A rumour alleged that it was Jane Boleyn who threw her husband under the bus. However, this is disputed. After 11 years of marriage, George was arrested and subsequently thrown into the Tower of London, being accused of incest with the Queen and his sister. It was said that Jane allegedly testified against her own husband due to jealousy she had because of his closeness with his sister. It was even said that she provided a false, incriminating testimony. But as said, this has been disputed. George was beheaded on Tower Hill and Jane was made a widow. The execution of the Bolins hit the family hard and their reputation and wealth was greatly affected. She remained at court and then became a lady-in-waiting for Jane Seymour, and she was seen as comfortable and had a number of servants. She continued to be a key manipulator at court and was prominent in Anne of Cleves' annulment with King Henry VIII, as she testified that Anne had told her she hadn't consummated her marriage with Henry. Following this, the king then married the teenage Catherine Howard, his fifth wife, and this is where Jane's downfall really came. Lady Rochford became a lady-in-waiting to the young and naive Catherine Howard. They grew rather close despite the age gap, and for some reason, Jane Boleyn began to become rather integral to helping the Queen's indiscretions. Catherine Howard's downfall came with the fact she was having an affair with one of the King's closest courtiers, Thomas Culpepper. Now it was Jane who helped arrange these meetings and liaisons behind the King's back. It was said that Catherine wrote to Culpepper saying, Master Culpepper, I heartily recommend me unto you. I have never longed so much for things as I do to see you and to speak with you. It makes my heart to die to think that what fortune I have, that I cannot be always in your company. Come when my Lady Rochford is here, for that I shall be best at leisure to be at your commandment, yours as long as life endures. It was within Lady Rochford's rooms in the middle of the night that Culpepper met up with Catherine Howard, which itself was incredibly dangerous. But why Jane Boleyn decided to involve herself in this was rather strange. 
It could possibly have been in retribution against the king for the fact he had executed her husband years before, along with Anne Boleyn, and also this could have caused great pain and frustration. So Jane may have wanted to get back at the king in the scheming that usually only led to one thing. Also, she may have been hungry for power and influence in court, which was rather prominent mission for most of those courtiers inside Tudor England. Everyone jostled and fought for influence, and power plays were common. It's possible that by getting involved with Catherine's affairs, she could have done this for more power inside of Henry's court, having something against her at all times. As time went on, investigations took place, and during these it was discovered that Jane Boleyn had been arranging meetings for Culpepper and Catherine, and more of Catherine's ladies-in-waitings testified that meetings took place in Lady Rochford's chambers. It was found that at one time Culpepper and the Queen were in Jane Boleyn's room for around six hours being intimate. Jane Boleyn attempted to portray herself as an innocent bystander, and said she had been at the other end of the room during these meetings, and Culpepper accused Jane of provoking him into the affair with Catherine, and he claimed she was the one to blame for the whole illicit affair. Jane Boleyn, Lady Rochford, was later sentenced to death for her involvement in the affair. Queen Catherine Howard was executed first inside the Tower of London on Tower Green, and shortly after, Jane Boleyn was executed. Whilst she was led to the scaffold on Tower Green, Jane saw the remains of her former friend and Queen Catherine Howard being gathered. She was taken to the block in a frenzy and a state of panic, and with one swift blow from the axe, she was executed. Jane Boleyn was buried inside the chapel of St Peter ad Vincula, close to the bodies of her husband and her sister-in-law. Now, although we can obviously say her cause of death was beheading by axe, it's interesting to look further into it. She was obviously a woman who was keen to become involved in scandal and political manipulation. She must have thought a lot of herself and must have sought to take advantage of other people to further her own career and reputation. Why she got herself involved in the Queen's illicit behaviour remains a mystery and who the real Jane Boleyn actually was remains a mystery. However, the cause of death was her involvement in treasonous activities on behalf of other people. One thing that does surprise me is Jane Boleyn saw exactly what had happened to her sister-in-law and her husband when they allegedly went against the king. So another mystery is why Jane, knowing all of this, did exactly the same. Thank you for watching and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.